this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Photoshop CS4 to create a transparent watermark that you can apply to your photos for uploading online. Um, this is both to protect your work, your own work, as well as uh, giving some identification of your work for anybody who might see it um, and be interested in it. Um, so um, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. First thing, we're going to uh, go to File, New, or you can uh, use Command N. Um, for this, I'm going to pick something that's uh, um, a lot wider than it is tall. So I'm going to do 12 inches wide by 4 inches uh, high. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, just make sure the most important part is um, make sure that the background is transparent. That way, when you apply it to your photos, you won't, you'll only see your watermark and not the background. And that way you can still see your photo through the watermark. Anyway, all right, so that's done. Let's click OK. And we'll get a canvas here. Um, so I'm just going to create a basic watermark with my name on it uh, that I can use on my photography that I post online, uh, either on my website or our forums or wherever you want. Um, so draw a text box. Uh, first things first, select the, the text tool, sorry, uh, and then click on your canvas and draw your text box uh, like you see here. And uh, up, up at the top here, you can change your font size. Um, I usually go larger rather than small because you can always, um, it's easier to resize the watermark um, smaller, uh, depending on how large the photo is, than it is to make it uh, larger. Um, so let's do like a 72 point font. So my signature that I always use is uh, R. Perez Photography. And as you'll see here, um, I have it with white font. Um, so it's a little see-through right now. You can change the color of the font um, just by going up to the little um, color option right here at the, at the font toolbar. Um, click on that, and you can select any color font you want. Um, for this tutorial, tutorial, I'm actually going to use white, but I'll show you some options to make it so that you can actually see it on the photo. Um, so click, once you've chosen your color, click OK. And then uh, once that's done, Go ahead and uh, click back on this arrow right here, and that'll uh, place your watermark. Um, you can crop it down if you want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's transparent anyway, but I usually do it. So let's do that. And then that way, just my watermark is showing there. So now if you go down here to your Layers uh, panel, you'll see a little option that says FX at the bottom there. Go ahead and click on that, and you can add a layer style. And this is going to allow us to uh, blend and bevel and emboss and add shadows if we want to uh, to our watermark. So you see just there, just by dropping a, adding a drop shadow, um, it makes the uh, font stand out a lot more, even with a white color. So uh, you can add anything you want. You can add inner shadow, drop shadow. Um, just kind of play around with it as you like um, to get you know what you're going for. Um, I'm going to add a bevel. You can change the depth and size of the bevel to fit your needs. Um, I, I don't need anything. I'm just going to leave it uh, the regular about 71% depth um, and increase the size of the uh, bevel a little bit. All right. Now that that's done, uh, click OK. And uh, we're going to save this. So let's go to Save As. Uh, for format, you can use JPEG, you can use TIFF, you can use PSD. Um, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use uh, uh, Photoshop, which is PSD. So um, make sure 
Oh, yeah. Make sure you um, you can uncheck. Or, yeah, check the layers tab and then just uh, save the file. Oh, first of all, I'm going to type, type, title this watermark. Just ignore that. Just click OK. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is Uh, go in here and open a picture to add the watermark to. So um, I'm going to go to my, I have one on my desktop already, so I'm going to go to my desktop. I'll pick this photo right here. And then if I just go to uh, open, go to where I saved my watermark, which is uh, should be in my pictures folder. There it is, watermark. And then if I select it here, just like that, using uh, the square rectangular marquee tool, just go from the corner and drag till it's fully selected. And then, or you can just go to uh, select, select all, um, or use command A as well. Um, and then go to edit. copy and then you can paste your uh, watermark and then go to edit paste or command V and paste your watermark and it'll uh, paste the watermark in a new layer uh, on top of your photo just put it in place if you need to resize it like this is a little big for the photo um, I can just go to uh, just go up to uh, Edit, uh, free transform, and then if you hold shift while you drag, it'll keep it the same size. You don't have to. You can stretch it out. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and make sure I keep it the same size it was before, uh, or same proportions, and then you can shrink it, uh, make it however big you want. So I think I'm going to keep it that size, and uh, that should be it. Now if you just... Uh, Click that little check mark at the top there uh, when you're done, and it'll set it on the photo. Um, go ahead, go over to your layers panel right here, right click on your layers, and select flatten image, and that'll uh, imprint the uh, layer onto the original photo. Um, when you go up to file, you can either save as a new, new file, or you can just save the original. Uh, over the original with the watermark on it. So I'm just going to click save because that's fine. Um, I choose maximum for the quality and click OK. And then you should have uh, your original file uh, wherever you saved it um, with the watermark on it. Let's look at mine right here. Open it in preview. And here you can see the watermark. Uh, on the on the file, so this is ready for uh, uploading on the web or my website or forums or whatever. Anyway, uh, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check back for more.